Hello, welcome, Devil Sniper here, and today I'm bringing you season number two, episode number 28 of Portsmouth. The last two episodes have not been the greatest because we have really slumped down the table. Now, that's the calendar, John. We have really, really, that's the calendar, John. We have really, 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 there we go. <laughs> Hits the right button at last. We have really slumped down the table. As you can see, drew some games, lost some games, not doing well. 69 points. We are stuck on a 69. Swindon, eight points behind us now. We really need to um, to accelerate. We've got, what, six, seven, eight games left. So, um, yeah, we need to accelerate. We need to uh, to dig deep, sort ourselves out. Um, what are our main fixtures? They might give us some uh, some good theory into what we're going to face. I mean, we have got Charlton next. Uh, this is a make or break game against Charlton. I mean, God. So, last game of March... We've then got four, whoa, six games in April. And our final game of the season, that, that game number eight against Yeovil at home. So, yeah, good God. We've got Cole U quite soon. So, um, yeah, not good, not good. We're going to take a look at the squad. Hopefully the squad is um, quite fit. I'm going to stick with the 4-3-3. Uh, the three, three. Um, I did get a little bit frustrated in the last episode. For some reason, the players were just really out of position. I mean, Schaefer wasn't even wasn't holding his position, which is um, whew, was just really frustrating. But you know, I, I think this is a I think this is a nice looking little side there. Um, I just hope we can do it. I might adjust to a four four one two one two as the game progresses. But at this moment in time, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna risk the four three three. Because I think it could work. I don't want to play the three-five-two. Essentially, I want to get away from the three-five-two. Um, I don't think it really suits this team that much. I'm also thinking about the four-four-two-three-one, but that, that, I really like playing two strikers up front. So I'm a bit of a, I mean, a real bit of a quandary to be honest. But um, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with this for another game. See how it goes. If we lose this game. And it's raining, which oh, I hate playing in the rain. If we lose this game, then um, I probably will change the formation and go for the 4-2-3-1. Um, change a bit of it a little bit. Push the uh, two, the, the Ram and the Lamb a little bit more forward. Um, and I think it then defaults it to like a, a, a possible 4-5-1. But yeah, we'll just have to have a look and have a little play to see how it goes. Is that Bradley Wright Phillips they've got? So they, they, I mean, they've got a strong side at the end of the day. They've got Fuller on the bench. Uh, they're not a side to be um, underestimated. I mean, they're second in the league, so if we underestimate them, it's going to be our peril. But I'm hoping for some uh, some good football now. Knuckle me head down, get me head clear, concentrate, play what we what we've played in a lot of career modes. You know, the passing game, keep the ball, look for the opening, don't rush it. Problem is, I get too rushy at times, and just because it's world class, he's, you're going to get punished. Now you can get away with it on um, amateur and semi-pro or professional, or whatever the other, the lower the, the lower uh, levels are. But on world class, you can't, and legendary, you definitely can't. And that's that's some of the problems I have. Is I get too rushy. I try and force the situation. I try to pass the ball around at times in the latter third, looking for the Arsenal goal, the Barca goal. And um, you know sometimes they're just not there. Those sort of goals are just not there. And you need to do what um, perhaps you're good at. What I do in West Ham half the time is, you know, I'm, I, t I prepare to take shots from 20, 30 yards. But then again, I have got Filippo Bonaparte. And um, well, what can I say? He's, he's, he's a legend. It's just that simple. And they've already broke me. Good God. Good God. Well, then again, it's, it's going to be a good test. This is going to be a good test because they're a championship side. So, um, I mean, they look like they're going to go straight back up. So, essentially, we could be playing these... The, oh, Ledley with the bad first freaking touch. We could be playing these guys again anyway. So, um, it'll be a good way to ascertain where we are. We knew where we were with QPR. They were far better, especially in the latter part of the game. We didn't take our chance. They're so much stronger than me already. That's the one thing that really gets my go. How they're, Bradley Wright Phillips does not strike me as being this tank of a bloody player. Yeah, he just tanked through Ballon as if he didn't even exist. And these guys are absolutely all over me. Absolutely all over me. This could be a very bad game. <sighs> Goal kick. Thank you, referee. I thought I actually won the header header on that uh, that opportunity. But, you know, I'll take that. 
our first touches aren't looking as silky as theirs. Come on, Chafes. Let's show them what you're all about, son. Well, get this way. Really poor. Look at they're holding a really weird formation. They're just grouped up. They're just bottlenecks in the centre of the park. Oh, that's a run. That's a go. Maybe not a goal. That was a nice opportunity, though. Go on, get that header. Get that header. Get that header. Looped it too much. Got underneath it. Bit too much. Need to get stronger neck muscles. Stronger neck muscles, my son. 70 minutes in, nil nil. What can we do? What can you do? What can you do? Oh, dear. There, I presume everyone watched the um, Confeds Cup. Tell you what, that's got me right in the mood for the World Cup. As they're breaking uh, defence stoutly, yes. That's got me right in the mood for the World Cup. And right in the mood for the uh, for the new season. I can't wait for the new season to kick off. Cole, you've been doing some additional business. You may or may not know. We've taken pretty much Arsenal's best players. Craig Eastman and uh, Sanchez Watts. Um, we were offered Giroud, but we turned him down. We don't really want him at Cole. You. He's just not good enough to, uh, to get into the team, to be honest. That's the truth. Oh, the frickin' jump animation. Fuck you, EA. Unbelievable. That poxy animation needs to go. No football player worth his salt would piss and jump over the ball. He's not a bloody hurdler. Oh, we're in. Oh, great save by their goalkeeper. Filippo Bonaparte version 2. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, get the header. Oh, how did he clear that? How did he wrap his leg around my player to clear that? That's um, that's pretty impressive stuff. To say the... Oh, fucking hell. Sorry, I... <laughs> Please excuse me while I rage. But that ball, I don't understand why it goes behind him. It's just... Um, Go on, Shafe. Have a ping. Go on. Oh, he cleared it through him. Fucking hell. Oh, you just feel like you're getting absolutely trolled by this game at times. Can't wait for this to happen in FIFA 14. Which is the irony. I just can't. I'm looking forward so much to that career mode. I'm hoping that scouting system that they've uh, been showing pictures of is going to be really good. Go on, get the head up. I can't get there. Get the head up. I can't get there. Ugh. I need more information about FIFA 14 now. I really want more. Get the head up. Oh, I can't get there either. <laughs> I can't win anything in the air. <laughs> what is going on? This is not good. This is not good. But I do like the look of it. Um, like I said, I just hope there's a little bit more in-depth things that we can do. Not that I'm too worried, to be honest. But just as long as it looks a bit better and um, a little more presentable, I can uh, we can create decent stories. We can utilise what we have. I mean, we don't really have too many. Oh shit! We don't have too many tools. Oh shit! I played that forward and it went backwards. We don't have too many tools as it is in FIFA 13, but we do what we can. And I think the West Ham career mode has gone really well with the with the stuff we've integrated. That's the ball. Oh, turn. Oh fucking hell! I'm going to take nil nil at half time. I'll take nil nil. I do think there's been some uh, some a fraction of rubbish in the first half, to be honest. But you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm going to, I'm actually going to change the formation. I'm really not. I can't do four three three. I just can't freaking do it. There's just something about me that's just not capable of playing that formation. I don't know why, but there you go. I just I can't do it. I cannot freaking well do it. Let Lee go into cam. Pav. Uh, we'll put you up. Yeah, we'll keep you up top. We'll keep Pav there. Um, yeah, we'll keep them like that. No, we're not. We'll swap them. Right, that'll do. We'll, we'll, um, we'll see if this changes anything. Let's see if this changes anything. Let's see if this gives us a boost or something. As I said in, uh, I think it was number 26, you can't hide behind your gameplays in live episodes. 
you are pretty much putting yourself up for huge criticism. Lots of people telling you that you're shit. So you've got to really <laughs> stand by your gameplay. Because uh, I don't like it when people do live episodes and edit it. Uh, just uh, show, the, show the, the whole game. Show the rage. Show the bullshit. Don't show you um, the goods, the good bits. Because there's, there's sometimes there's so little to actually edit in games, and uh, that's half the fun. Well, we're looking a little bit more shapely. That's uh, the appropriate terminology. Go on, feed it into him. Roll it. Hit it. Oh my God, that was a shot and a half. That boy has got a freaking... I swear to God, he's got a rocket attached to his boot. Go on, get that header. <gasps> oh, my God. I tell you, if I had Felipe Santana, I would have nestled in that top corner without a shadow of a doubt. But we haven't, so shut up. Oh, freaking Charlton, don't impress me. They did in the first half. Oh, look, don't, yes, thank you. Oh, we got away with that. He did look like he was trying to mount him from the rear. But <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? Come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Get in. You just strength. Oh, it's a great blood. Damn, he held me off and got that cross in there. I know it's, over the, it's a bit too hard and everything, but look at that. Ten assists, Ledley. Do you know what? The last few weeks, in-game, obviously, but the last few weeks... He's really gone missing. I'm really disappointed. He's, the second half of the season, he's sort of um, he's dropped off. Now a lot of people can say, "Well, you haven't been passing the ball to him, John." And it, you know, I'm gonna hold my hands up and say you're completely wrong. Uh, it, I'm not controlling these. Thankfully, if I was, bloody hell, I'd be into the right criticism as a manager. Jesus Christ, we're playing some bad football. There's a run from Leeds. Oh, I couldn't get the ball for the freaking gap. That would have been a nice ball as well. I have to make a substitute in a minute. I'm going to bring on Bradshaw. I'm going to give him a chance to prove. I didn't want the free kick. It's alright. It's fine. I didn't want the free kick. Don't want the free kick. Don't want cheap free kicks. Oh, here we go. Look at him. Look at him knock the ball around like freaking gods. Oh, and he still fucking holds him off. Come on. And he gets the cross in. Right, let's do a pre substitution and we're going to bring on let's do Bradshaw for Tuna and I'm going to bring Tony on for Path, yeah I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it well it's a bit too late, I've done it so um, let's see if we can get the ball down there, look at that kick on him he's got a monster of a kick I need to foul someone or something referee gets in the way works for them Oh, I need to make these substitutions. I need to get the ball out. I should have thrown the ball out. Should have thrown the ball out. Oh, that was a foul. <laughs> I actually purposely fouled him. Oh, dear. Come on, referee. Oh. I would have played that over the top if it was dry, but... Yes, ball out. God, I just spent the last, like, 20 seconds trying to get the ball off the pitch. Oh dear, Pavarini don't look impressed about the substitution. To be fair, I'm not going to lie; he's not looking, um, he's not looking too impressed with that. That was the wrong place to do a fancy pass, John. That really doesn't help your cause. That really does not help my cause, does it? Oh shh, we got away with that. I feel we just got away with that. I don't think that was. Um, Oh. <sighs> not going well at this moment in time. Really not. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't get around their fucking defenders. Look at them hold the ball. Whatever. EA, seriously. Fuck off. Oh. Not a great episode again. We're going to draw. Look at him just taking the... I think 
They're going to score. Scripted. You can feel it. You can feel it. Unbelievable. Oh, just as I'm about to pull a trigger as well. Fucking hell. Anyone that works at EA and says there's no scripts in this game deserves to be hung. Absolutely atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. <sighs> Piss off, I don't care about lack of action. We're holding steady. It's a good job we've done a good job in the first part of the season, I tell you. Because we are absolutely getting murdered. We are getting murdered at this moment in time. Getting absolutely dicked on. We signed quite a few players. None of them are off age, so I'm not really too fussed about looking for them. Some of them have got nice stats, but I'm not too fussed looking at them at the moment because they're not of the right age. Hopefully we have a biblical player. You're not biblical. You're not biblical. You're biblical. And you're not. There we go. So we're going to keep one player. It's going to be interesting because we're going to have a lot of you players coming through. Loan outs are the, probably the best ones. And um, hope, for the, hope for the best with the rest, to be honest. That's all we can do. I'm going to take a chance. I'm actually going to sim the next game because I just I don't know if I can handle another another shit game. Another draw. Another bullshit fucking loss. Scripted 90th minute bollocks. It's just unbelievable in this game. Absolutely un fucking fathomable. It really is unfathomable at times. Absolutely. And we're at home, so we should win because we do have the better side. But I guarantee we're going to lose this game 2 1. We scored the first. I'm going to press Y in 2 1 Y. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. The team wins 4 0 without me. Do you know how bad that makes me feel? It's three points, John. Shut up. <laughs> oh, top draw from Ledley. Hopefully that will give them a boost of confidence that when I use them, they do the business. We needed that as well. Someone's on 64 bloody points. Jesus Christ. Not good. Not good. Yes, words. Are you going back to your old club? I'm going to stick. No, I'm not going to stick with that formation. I don't like it. I know they just won with it, but I don't like it. I can't play it. I really just can't play it. I really just can't. Something psychological, I swear to God. It has to be psychological. No, we're not in that desperation. Season 1 desperation just yet. Tell you what, though. It might get to that stage the way I'm playing at this moment in time. Oh, absolutely atrocious. Hey-ho. That's FIFA. You gotta take the rough with the smooth, or the smooth with the rough, and um, yeah. Well, words you can't really play striker, sir. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I'll put you. I'll put you there actually, because you had a decent shot on you. I'm gonna keep you over there. I'm gonna keep you there, lad. I'm gonna keep you there, and um, see how it goes. Let's have a quick squad report. See if anyone has actually gone up. He's doing so well. He's phenomenal. Otterland, I'm happy with him. I know he's not the tallest, but he's such a good player. Webster, good player. Grant, he's doing well. I really need him to have a boost of ex of, of growth, though, because um, I think next season we could get absolutely chewed. Look at Shafes. I think next season we could get chewed up by the big boys. Look, he's got a plus five. I think that's really impressive. I think that's impressive, to be honest. His shot power is 71 as well. Ledley, Nathaniel, quality, absolutely quality. Words, he hasn't gone up, but you know, I bought him because I like him as a player. Our boy, Pavarini, 
80 finishing. Hasn't really impressed over the last week. Hasn't gone up either. Potsy's doing all right. Bradshaw, hit and miss at this moment in time. He really needs to improve. Might actually play him up front just for his pace abuse. That might be a good idea, actually. I might stick him up front. Um, can he play more than... No, he can't. Mm, okay. I've just, had a, I've just had a brain... I don't want to squad report again. I've just had a brain... A flash of... I was going to say genius, but that would be a complete bloody lie. I, I'm going to put pace abuse on. Um, I'm going to put Potsy on at left back as well. Yeah, that's the team we're going to be using in the next game. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hopefully we'll get a better game. At least we've got a win in this episode, even though I wasn't controlling, which, um, yeah, that's really garring. But hey-ho, what can you do? And I will, of course, catch you guys. It's more like a nightmare. Keep it